Bees are in trouble, and that's bad news for all of us. These tiny pollinators keep ecosystems alive, but their numbers are dropping thanks to pesticides, climate change, and habitat loss. No bees. No coffee, chocolate, or avocados basically. Chaos. Let's act now to save these buzzing MVPs before it's too late. The unsung heroes of nature. Bees as pollinators. Bees are among the most important creatures on Earth, playing a pivotal role in maintaining biodiversity and supporting ecosystems. With over 20,000 species buzzing across the globe, bees are not just an essential part of nature's machinery, they're indispensable. Pollination is a process by which pollen is transferred from the male parts of a flower to the female parts, enabling plants to produce seeds and fruits. While wind and water can facilitate pollination, the most effective agents are animals, particularly bees. These industrious insects are responsible for pollinating a staggering number of plant species, from wildflowers to crops. Without bees, many plants would struggle to reproduce, leading to a decline in plant diversity. This would set off a chain reaction affecting all levels of the food chain. Bees' work benefits not only humans but countless other species that rely on plants for food and shelter. Their contribution is so significant that some scientists consider them one of the most important species for life on Earth. A crisis in the making. The decline of bee populations. The decline of bee populations has been a growing concern for decades. In the United States alone, the number of bees dropped by about 30% annually between 1995 and 2007. This rate is nearly double the historical average and reflects a broader global trend. Although the decline has somewhat stabilized since 2008, bee numbers have not rebounded significantly. This ongoing reduction in bee populations is known as colony collapse disorder, a phenomenon where worker bees abandon their hives, leaving behind the queen and a few immature bees. The exact causes of colony collapse disorder remain elusive, but experts have identified several contributing factors. Factors driving the decline of bees. The decline of bees is a perfect storm of habitat loss, chemical overload, and biological threats, and it's putting our buzzing buddies in serious jeopardy. Urbanization, deforestation, and monoculture farming have turned their once vibrant foraging grounds into barren wastelands, leaving bees swiping left on flower diversity. Add to that the chemical cocktails of pesticides and neonicotinoids that mess with their navigation and reproduction basically giving bees a permanent case of GPS failure. Climate change isn't helping either, throwing off flower blooming schedules and hitting bees with extreme weather like nature's bad mood swings. To top it off, the dreaded veromite is like a tiny vampire, sucking the life out of bees and spreading deadly viruses. Modern farming practices, with their love for monoculture and hedge-free zones, just pile on the trouble. It's a tough world for bees, but understanding these threats is the first step in helping them make a comeback. What happens if bees disappear? If bees disappeared, the ripple effects would be nothing short of apocalyptic. These little superheroes are keystone species, holding ecosystems together like nature's glue. Without them, plant diversity would nosedive, and a domino effect of extinctions would rattle the food chain, leaving entire ecosystems in chaos. Agriculture would take a massive hit to imagine apples, almonds, cherries, and avocados turning into rare luxury items, while food prices skyrocket. Sure, grains like wheat and corn would survive, but without fruits and veggies, our diets would lack essential nutrients, opening the door to health problems. Economically, farmers would face skyrocketing costs for manual pollination, passing the bill to consumers. And let's not forget the cultural loss. Gone would be the vibrant wildflower landscapes bees help create, taking a piece of nature's beauty and our collective joy with them. In short, no bees means no balance, no beauty, and a whole lot of problems. Could humanity survive without bees? While humanity might survive in a world without bees, the quality of life would suffer immensely due to their critical role, 
in pollinating over 75% of the world's flowering plants and nearly 35% of global crop production. Without bees, crops like almonds, apples, berries, and melons foods that rely heavily on bee pollination would become scarce and extremely expensive. A Cornell University study estimates that bee-pollinated crops contribute over $15 billion annually to the U.S. economy, highlighting their economic importance. Grains like wheat and rice, which do not rely on bees for pollination, would still be available, but the lack of nutrient-rich fruits, vegetables, and nuts would lead to widespread deficiencies in vitamins like A, C, and E. Moreover, the absence of bees would disrupt ecosystems, as many animals depend on plants that bees pollinate for food, leading to a ripple effect of species loss and environmental degradation. The ecological imbalance caused by the loss of bees would also hinder natural processes like soil health and water cycle regulation, posing long-term consequences for the planet's sustainability. How to Save Bees Saving bees is an urgent mission that demands a comprehensive set of strategies to combat the growing threats to their survival. One of the most effective ways to support bees is by protecting and restoring their natural habitats. Wildflower meadows, forests, and grasslands have been replaced by urban sprawl and intensive farming, leaving bees with limited foraging options. Research from the University of Sussex reveals that urban wildflower patches can increase bee diversity by up to 25%. Simple actions like planting native flowering plants, creating bee hotels, and reducing excessive lawn mowing can create vital microhabitats for bees to thrive. Supporting conservation organizations, such as the Xerces Society, helps fund large-scale habitat restoration projects that benefit pollinators and other wildlife. Urban areas can also play a role by promoting rooftop gardens and green spaces designed with pollinator-friendly plants. The elimination of harmful chemicals, particularly neonicotinoids, is essential to reduce bee mortality. Studies from the European Food Safety Authority show that neonicotinoids impair bees' navigation and reproduction, contributing to colony collapse disorder. Farmers can transition to organic farming practices and adopt integrated pest management, which reduces chemical usage by employing natural pest control methods like introducing predatory insects. Alternatives like neem oil and pheromone traps have proven to be effective in managing pests without harming pollinators. Legislative actions, such as the European Union's ban on three major neonicotinoids, demonstrate how policy changes can significantly improve bee health. Consumers can also influence change by purchasing products certified as bee-friendly or organic, supporting farms that prioritize pollinator safety. Scientific research is paving the way for innovative solutions to address the decline in bee populations. Advanced technologies like smart hive monitoring systems, developed by the World Bee Project, use sensors and artificial intelligence to track hive health and environmental conditions in real time. Genetic research is also making strides in breeding bees resistant to diseases like the varromite, a parasite responsible for decimating colonies worldwide. Additionally, scientists are working on developing bee-safe pesticides that minimize ecological harm while maintaining agricultural productivity. Funding such initiatives through government grants and private investments is critical to accelerating progress. Collaboration between researchers, farmers, and policymakers can lead to sustainable innovations that protect both bees and the food systems they support. Thanks for watching. Remember, if we don't save the bees, our diets might just become a lot less sweet. So let's give these tiny heroes a buzzworthy round of applause. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Let's keep the hive alive.